Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. We're out at Gettysburg for Remembrance Day, the commemoration of the Gettysburg Address. We're here talking to the public about what we do as a web series. And my friend Jim Abels came in, and today's a pretty special day for me. And the backstory here, you see a blanket sitting between the two of us. You've seen four episodes in the past with our friend Matt Woodburn, who sadly we lost last year. Matt had a gigantic original collection. The family had the help of Raphael Eldridge of Shiloh Relics in disposing of that, but they didn't know what to do with his living history kit. I was introduced to Matt's brother, Jeff, and offered to help with that. Went down to pick everything up, and as I'm doing that, Jeff and I are going through, and he said, this one didn't get taken. I look at this blanket, and unlike all of Matt's living history stuff, there's a collector's tag on it, and I recognize that from doing the other episodes with Matt. Jim comes into the picture because this blanket is identified to an S.W. Taylor in the 52nd Pennsylvania. You've seen Jim's research in that he's helped us with the Bucktails episode we recently did, so it's a Pennsylvania unit. Will doesn't have a ton of time because he's traveling. Sends a message to his friend Jim and says, Jim, can you do a quick dig for me? S.W. Taylor, 52nd Pennsylvania. Jim, why don't you pick up the story and tell us what happened? All right, so yeah, it definitely wasn't a Pennsylvania blanket. It, you know, it's a civilian blanket that was used by a soldier. But something about that name and that unit, just it kind of clicked. So I, I have a, a list on my phone, looked real quick, and there was the, the name and the regiment. And I was like, no, this can't be. So got on Ancestry.com, pulled up my family history, and... Yeah, it's my great grand uncle's blanket from his time in the 52nd Pennsylvania. So I let Will know, it's like, I want it, whatever it costs. Yeah, I want that blanket. So, and now, now we're here today. And helping Matt with things, <laughs> cost wasn't really a big issue. Yeah. I was helping the family, totally knocked over backwards. And with this being a civilian blanket, we're like, okay, wait a second, we need to vet this. And Jim's a World War I collector. I'm a text collector and a little bit of weapons within Civil War. Textiles is something that's just not our thing to value. So give a shout out today to Mike Folly on my side and Craig Schneider on his side. We each reached out to a friend of ours who are collectors or who know textile prices. They quickly came back and helped us figure out a value. And then I said, yeah, we're not even going anywhere near that high. I'm pretty thrilled to say that this blanket goes back to the family today. And just a complete coincidence, but wanted to share this with you, see a win for history, and get to see a family member with their ancestor's artifact being reunited. And we'll also, some of the photos here, you've got a chance to actually take a look at an original blanket used by a Civil War soldier from the 52nd Pennsylvania. They weren't all the grays, they weren't all the browns. Mm -hmm. As we come to the end here, want to give a shout out again to Rafe from Shiloh Relics, because when I recognized that ID tag and I knew Matt's system, I called Rafe and I said, Rafe? You left an original behind. Here's what it is. Can you please dig into the documents? And he was fantastic. He immediately looked it up, read to me the information, because Matt had the bill of sale from when he purchased it from a military show in Gettysburg in the 1980s. So this blanket comes back to Gettysburg to go back <laughs> to the family. And Rafe immediately said, I can throw that in the mail for you tomorrow. So between Mike Folly and Craig Schneider and Rafe Eldridge, we had a lot of people really helping the serendipity come together. And when we talk about a connection to history, I've got tingles right now because they don't get much better than this one for me. Yeah, it's not often that, you know, whoever thinks that they're going to find a, a, a relic from your family. And yeah, I, I never in a million years would I think that this would have this something like this would have happened to me. So it, it's definitely really cool. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's where it belongs. I hope this helps you find a little bit of a connection to history. It's a good day here, and there's a parade coming up in a little while. We're going to turn back to the work here and greet people, talk to them about what we do. For now, find your own connection to history. We hope this gave you a small piece of it. We'll see you next time.